Hello, I'm your boy Hyde. You can call me Ben of Team Relentless, and this is The Scrapyard, where you can come to learn to make something for your Star Wars Legion table. Today we're going to be talking about how to make these scatter tall grasses. We're going to be using just the cardboard that comes as an insert for the units that you buy for Star Wars Legion, some felt, some uh, in this case green felt, you can use whatever color that you want. Uh, Easter grasses from a hobby shop is what these tall green fronds are, and then aquarium plants. Those are the materials I use, but you can certainly adapt and use other materials as well. Let's get started and see how to make these. All right, so the first thing that I did here to make these scatter bushes was to trim up the Easter grasses. Uh, and the reason why it's necessary to trim them is because they have lots of little plastic moldy bits. Not moldy like bacteria, but moldy like from their mold. Uh, that stick out and make them really, really difficult to glue together and to glue on the surfaces. So um, trim everything up so it's nice and flat on the bottom and that it doesn't have weird stuff uh, sticking out. Um, and then the, the next step was to actually glue them onto the cardboard uh, surface and, um, and, and choose the size of that. So I decided that I wanted to make a cluster of them and make three uh, all put together. And as a side note, I've, I've made much smaller versions of these that decorate the felt area terrain uh, before, but this is the first time that I wanted to make something that was really a larger piece of, of scatter terrain that would be uh, large enough that it would like obstruct the movement of, uh, uh, of a trooper uh, and that sort of thing. I can't just walk through it, it's impassable because it's such dense foliage. Um, so that was my intent here. And uh, so I, I jam them all together and I figured that um, what, what I've noticed is that if it's all one color, it doesn't look very good. So you need a variety of colors, which is why the aquarium grasses came in as well. And the aquarium grasses can basically be shoved inside of, of those Easter grasses. Uh, I don't know why they're called Easter grasses. I think maybe that they're supposed to have like Easter eggs in them, but I've never seen them used with that intent. So anyway, I don't know if you could find these year round or just at hobby stores uh, in the springtime. Uh, but you could use all sorts of different uh, materials for this to, to kind of create the larger, um, uh, just having mul uh, multiple colors uh, involved in a scatter piece like this. All right, next I just wanted to glue the bases down and then trim them up. Um, I left just a little bit of overhang on the felt uh, so that it would hopefully I wouldn't be able to see uh, the edges of, the, of the, the cardboard which I ended up you could see the edges of the cardboard anyway and then um, I didn't think I was gonna have to use hot glue for this but uh, because they kind of would compress together when I put them and then try to spread out I, I did in fact need to use uh, hot glue to get them down and the hot glue worked great I may have melted some plastic and <laughs> hopefully not um, and that but usually the the Elmer's glue the just that using PVA works really well to connect the uh, aquarium glass grasses to the the Easter grass um, now that being said it does have to sit and cure for like at least 12 hours uh, to really get solid um, now this is an important step because the way that terrain technically works in, in Legion is that you it really matters how tall the tallest point of it is um, and you know technically any part of it causing an obstruction visually can create cover and so you don't want like a single frond sticking out and creating the situation where you know oops suddenly it uh, you're, you're granting cover to something so trimming things up is a good idea to make sure that they all uh, work the way that you intend for them to work on the table so definitely trim them up uh, to make that work and then yeah like I said uh, making it black um, on the edges so that it doesn't stick out and then some finishing touches making sure that the felt is glued all the way down so that it's not sticking up and that's pretty much it so it's pretty basic and you can do this with all sorts of different things com combining felt a felt covering on cardboard with uh, a variety of store-bought aquarium grasses and that sort of thing on the top and then they're magnificent and that's how you make these small uh, scatter grasses in Star Wars Legion. I hope you found that uh, video helpful and or inspirational so that you know that you can make your own terrain for uh, very little money uh, and have wonderful, beautiful tables to play your games on uh, at home or uh, at tournaments if you are supplying tables for tournaments as well. I am Mboyha, you can call me Ben of Team Relentless, and this has been The Scrapyard.